Hi, this is David Williams from my expert advisor. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the VTS application. Like most Windows apps, VTS has tabs along the top for opening, closing, and saving files. There are also some buttons for configuring a VTS, for building EAs, and for opening the editor and the platform for MetaTrader. When you first start VTS, you'll see the welcome page. There's a button for creating a new system and another for starting a wizard. But if you're new to VTS, you should start with this area to the right, the single day startup area. Here you'll find a list of tutorials to help you get started with VTS. If you click one of these items, it opens a new tab in VTS where you could read about the subject, watch a video, load an example system if there is one for the tutorial, and open a PDF document that's suitable for printing. When you're done, you can close the tab or click the Back to Welcome button. On the Welcome screen, when you select the Create a New System button, you're prompted to name the system, if you'd like, and then VTS creates a new drawing. This main area is the drawing pad where elements can be dropped when they're selected from the toolbox. The toolbox holds all the elements needed to build any EA. There's the new element tab and there are tabs for elements that you've saved. The function tab is where you'll find all the MQL functions including technical indicators and even your custom indicators. All of these can be dragged and dropped onto the pad, connected and then configured. The area to the right is where you'll find the system managers. System managers are used to set global information for your EA, the kind of info that does not lend itself to the drag and drop model. There's an input manager for configuring EA inputs, a trade time manager for adding trade time rules, a trade signal manager, a communication manager, and an open trade manager. We'll cover each of these areas in more detail in later videos.